Hi everyone, uh, since some of you uh, asked me about the quality of the display on this Vostro 3350, I thought I would do, uh, I would film my uh, Spider 3 calibration for it so we can see at the end how far the calibrated screen is from the uh, stock one. From my point of view, I think there is a fine grain to the screen that some others don't have. In this case, I think is more than acceptable and definitely at a normal view, viewing distance from the screen, you would not be able to see any pixels whatsoever. Uh, viewing angles, uh, I can say that it's a bad screen. Let me move the camera around a bit, see how far I can get. So, here, here I am. You can see almost 90 degrees from where I was. Let's move it back here. There we go. 90 degrees on the other side. Of course, you have loss of contrast, but that's expected. Same here. I'm going up. As you can see, there is a loss of contrast. But view and angle, I can say that it's too bad. Keep in mind that these are low quality displays, nothing like an IPS screen or anything like that. Let me get close, see what we have. So here I am two inches away from the screen. As you can see, all there is there is just probably artifacts from the camera. Let's look here, more stuff. So I'm about two inches away from the screen. It's hard to tell if there's any grain in there. I have to take my word for it. It's in the normal viewing conditions, you won't see any grain whatsoever. Okay, as you can see on my screen, Spider 3 Pro is what I'm going to be using. It comes with the software and the tool with the calibrator tool, which is this one here. You'll see it installed on the screen. So, let's launch the software. So, where is it? It's here. Click Spider 3. Yes, please install it in English. All right, now that you ha we have the application installed, you can see this icon here, Spider 3 Utility. And let's launch Spider 3 Pro. Have to plug in the sensor. Plugged in now. Click Next. Yes, I, it's been up for more than half an hour. Uh, lighting conditions, there's no direct light on the screen. It is reset. And I have a Spider 3 connection, so I can go. This is a laptop. You have to mention it so it, the computer understands what controls are available. Next, so place a Spider 3 sensor right in that spot, and let's give it a try. Okay, as you can see, it says finish. It uh, finish the initial measurements and it says measuring complete please remove your spider 3 and click finish all right say never save it was saved and all right now with the screen calibrated uh, I have the ability to do a switch between the calibrated and uncalibrated just to take a, uh, take a look at how the screen was out of the factory and how the screen looks now calibrated. Uh, so as you can see this is the uncalibrated screen, it has a bit of a bluish tint. If I magnify these pictures, you can see it here. So this is the uncalibrated, it's a bit of a bluish tint which I kind of expected, I've seen as, this as the, as the newer LCDs, the new laptops. So this is the calibrated one. Alright, again, a bit of a bluish tint on the non-calibrated, calibrated image. We'll look at the black and white picture, like this one here. Again, the non-calibrated, on this one you can see clearly the bluish tint again is not as bad in reality as you see it here on the screen and this is the calibrated one. 
I hope this is useful. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.